this was more than just a journey, seeking growth in our spirituality. It's our testimony to love, faith, and complete devotion, following the footsteps of the saints and encountering the invisible world. This is our pilgrimage. We started the day at the gates of St. Peter's Square. As we waited to enter, we did our daily meditations and watched as more and more people gathered for the papal address. Once it was time, excitement and pure joy surrounded the square as Pope Francis made his grand entrance. We were all captivated by not just his presence, but by his words as he shared about the church's mission of evangelization. Even though Pope Francis shared in Italian, several bishops came to translate his message, which truly demonstrated that Catholic means universal. As we entered St. Peter's Basilica, we were overwhelmed by its sheer awesomeness. Near the entrance stood the Chapel of the Pieta, sculpted by Michelangelo to represent God the Son. Nearby was an adoration chapel to silently pray amidst the busy crowds in the tomb of Pope John Paul II, as well as many other popes in the lower tombs. The Vatican, it's so overwhelming to be in it, but you feel so small compared um, to the huge statues and paintings, um, and really feeling like a child, um, you know, glorifying God, seeing the wonders that mankind has made for him. Um, and being at the tomb of John Paul II, I you know, have a personal connection with him, my family, um, he was like a member of our family, so being able to pray for my own family at his tomb was really special. Um, and having that personal connection with God through his saints and through the popes and through everyone that has contributed something to the church. After our quick walk through the basilica, we began our ascent to St. Peter's Dome. The dome was originally the roof of the Pantheon, relocated to be part of St. Peter's Basilica. A total of 551 steps are placed to make the whole ascent, and inside we got a close-up view of the artwork and paintings that make up the ceiling. All paintings except one are all made of mosaic, and we had a nice view of the artwork that depicted the four writers of the Gospels with the creatures that symbolized them. The following morning, we made our way back into the Basilica to attend our very own private Mass at the altar of St. Joseph, celebrated by Father Maximo. Following that, we were able to get a personal tour through the Basilica by Father Conrad. From him, we learned that the walls and columns made of marble have a meat-like appearance, and that's to represent flesh while the ceilings and upper walls of the basilica are filled with angels and abstract gold accents to represent heaven. Thus, the two coming together symbolize how heaven meets earth and God becoming man and flesh as Jesus. When we went and we took a tour with Father Conrad, had no idea any of those things. I went in and I prayed and we all prayed. Um, and then to get the factual background afterwards, I realized how important of a place we were standing at and and praying and I don't know, it hit me all at once. Um, after the Mass to St. Joseph and when Father Conrad was talking, I knew how much the saints were interceding for me 
that I had prayed to when we first got to Rome. So it was, it was really good. That was my favorite. Our whole experience within Vatican City was phenomenal. Every part of it was overwhelming and there were so many things to see. But once we realized that everything inside had been divinely inspired, we were able to see the bigger picture, the rich history and heavenly presence that is the heart of our Catholic faith.